Yes. So today we're covering speaking. And as you mentioned some minutes before we recorded, uh, some minutes ago, you, you mentioned some information about uh, the, the speaking activity. But let's go one by one and see what do we have for today. So have a look at these sentences, guys. Are they related to each other? Any ideas? Yeah, all of them, uh, they, are, they have the idea of uh, are. being healthy or body. MashaAllah. Like so this eating all... practice or related yes. to the healthy body. Yes, yes. They are, it, it seems that they are all connected together. And this is what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn how to link our ideas together so that we know or we have a good speaking skill or drilling. Let's see what do we have. So here in, the, in our listening, in our sorry, speaking, uh, our test, the test will assess your proficiency in, in spoken English. As we said from before, that whether you're going to study general English or take the general English test or take the academic English test, in both cases, you must know how to communicate in English. And in this skill, you're going to have a face-to-face -face interview. And of course, because sometimes people forget, sometimes people are distracted, this, the, that session or that part has to be recorded so that the examiner can go back to the recorded session and check if you deserve the grade or not. And you too, if you have a, if you have a complaint or something, you can just say, just go back to the recorded session and you'll see that I'm correct. Okay, so let's have some um, uh, quick info, some information about the listening skill. As you said, and as you mentioned, we have three different parts. So task one, how do you think, how long do you think it's going to be in task one? We have three different tasks. Maybe four, four minutes. Okay, great, four minutes. Any other idea, guys? Repeat the question, please. I said we're in task one now. We said that the, the test is three tasks. Mm -hmm. In task one, how long do you think it will take? It will last. MashaAllah. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. it is around four minutes, yes. So it, it, it uh, varies between four to five minutes. And as it's task one, so it's going to be just a, a little bit simple. Simple. And answers. it covers three topics. Mm -hmm. It covers three topics. And here, you have four questions in this task. Four questions in this task. In topic one, part one, he's going to ask about you. You, the attendee, is going to ask you some personal questions. He's gonna ask you if you have some work, if you study, uh, where do you live, uh, where are you from? Can you tell me more about your country? So he's, he's just want to know you more. What about the task two and three? The next two tasks. He's going to go deeper. And he will ask you about your hobbies, your holidays, sports, kinds of entertainment. So yes, I heard someone was talking. OK. So for task one, this is the, the topics that you're going to cover. We said that it lasts to, from four to five minutes. And he's going to start with the personal questions. Then he will move to a further side in which he's going to say, what are your hobbies? Um, uh, tell me about one holiday that you have already spent. Uh, he may uh, t tell you about your favorite sport. I may ask you about your favorite movie. So you have to be well prepared for everything. Okay. 
Before we go to task two, I need you to type in the chat, please. Type in the chat. Tell me how long is task one? Type in the chat. How long is task one? How many minutes? MashaAllah Shayma. MashaAllah Ms. Shayma. MashaAllah Shayma. We have two Shaymas now. Thank you, Mrs. Dalia, man, Iman. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yes, yes, they are in task one. Yes. Okay. Uh, task, in task one, they ask me about my um, ex they ask me about my work. Is that true or false? They may ask me about my work. Yes, excellent, excellent. Is it in task, is it in topic one or topic two and three? We said that topic one and topic two and three. One, yes, it's one, because it's very personal. What else are they go? Is the examiner asking me in, to, in, to, in topic one? What else? Country, yes, per perfect. What else? Country, so work, country, study, yes, work, perfect. And address, he's, he's going to ask you about where do you live? Okay. While in the other side, after we finish this part, he was going to talk about a more general idea, which is hobbies. What else? Yes, hobbies. Sports, perfect entertainment and sports holidays. Yes, 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 mashallah, mashallah. Okay, now we're moving to task two. Do you think task two will be easier than task one? No, more specific maybe. No. Yes, we said that one, one uh, characteristic about IELTS is that it goes progressively difficult. So Ms. Shema, task one is considered easier than task two. And task two is more difficult than task one. Uh, we, we, um, we just tried this in reading and found that it's, it's a little bit hard. But in listening, we all agreed that task two and three are more difficult than one and four. Do you remember, do you still remember when we said this? Okay, now let's see in task two, what do we have? Yes, yes, Mrs. Aya, thank you so much. So in task two, as Mr. Abdullah said, as Mr. Abdullah said, Mr. Abdullah mentioned something that the, the examiner is, the examiner is going to give you a card. And yeah. what is written on the card? One Sento. topic. One topic, one yeah. Topic. His, his, you, you will have one topic, one name, one uh, noun, and all what you're doing is to prepare yourself, prepare your ideas for one minute. And this one minute, the examiner is not talking. Okay, so how you're going to how you're going to prepare your ideas, guys? Are you using your your mind? You have a chance to use a paper and and, and pencil. Yeah. So you, you, you have the chance to use paper and pencil, you write your ideas, you organize everything. Then you have one to two minutes to talk about the topic. You're covering the topic. Yes, you write notes, Mrs. Wala. So you, one to two minutes, you may finish like one minute, 30 seconds, or it's a better idea if you just um, reach the two minute limit. But what if you would like to, exceed if you would like to speak for like two minutes 20 seconds i don't think he will give you the chance so maximum two minutes yes he will stop you yes and you have to prepare yourself to do so guys mm -hmm. and mashallah mrs diana is doing great with you i know yeah. and you yeah. start drilling this is really uh, amazing so the topics for a uh, exercise two or task two Maybe you're gonna describe someone or describe an event. Maybe you're commenting on a person or a place or an object or an activity or an or an. Uh, you're gonna talk about an experience. Okay, we have some. I know that you have some questions now. What if I ran out of ideas mm. and I haven't reached the one minute limit yet? It is available. It is suggested it is recommended that you can extend so if you're talking about describing al ataba in egypt i don't know we have some uh, uh, non-egyptians but uh, we're gonna talk about jidda for example so if i would like you to describe jidda 
and you run out of ideas, you may just use some subtopics um, related to Jeddah or related to other places around Jeddah. So you can say, it's so easy if you live in Jeddah and you travel to Mecca where you can perform Umrah. Because this is one privilege about, about Jeddah. So you may add some subtopics. Mm. Um, the, after you finish this task, which is task two, the examiner a, can ask you one or two questions and your answer should be brief. You don't have to give long answers. This is concerning task two. What about task three, guys? What do you expect task three to cover? The examiner may ask you some question connecting to what you have spoken about in topic number. Uh, MashaAllah. Perfect. Always perfect. So you're going to cover a uh, task two, but you're going to cover this in detail. In detail. Yeah. It's going to go deeper. It's going to ask you about everything. The important point uh, is to paraphrase the question. For example, if one word is subject, make yes, it well, object and use your passive voice like this. MashaAllah, Mrs. Dalia, MashaAllah, we're going to mention what you have already mentioned now. MashaAllah. So in task number three, Mr. Abdullah received the call, but he canceled. Okay, Mr. Abdullah. So in task number three, you're gonna have like four to five minutes. Can you, make, can you guys tell me how long was uh, task three, uh, two? From four to five minutes. Yes, four to five in task two, because you have one minute to prepare and you have one to two minutes to speak. And he may ask you one or two questions. So that makes like four minutes. That's why we said that the whole test is, 11 to 15. Okay, so you have in task three, you have four to five minutes. And he's gonna cover task two as uh, you said, guys. And here the examiner may push you hard to test your ability. He's going to give you some hard questions. He's going to uh, just re realize and try to guess and try to see how skillful you are in using the language. So it's going to, you're going to compare, you're going to analyze, to make some guessings. You may give your opinion about the topic. And I'm going to help you today, inshallah, in how we can form this. First of all, I would like you to look at this drilling. This is a speaking test practice. Imagine that I asked uh, Radwa and said, Radwa, do you like to watch movies? Radwa. No, not that much. Yes, uh, yes. Okay. Radwa, read the answers. Read the answer. Do you like to watch movies? Ah, uh, okay. Yes. What sort? Drama. Do you have a, a particular favorite? No. Do you have a favorite, a favorite actor? No. Can I can I measure her skill in speaking now? No. 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 Why? No. no Why? Not really. Because actually she doesn't speak at all. Yeah. So if you give if you give just short answers, you're lost. Yeah. It can't be. You have to give you have to give complete answer and you give good sentences. Okay, so here this is the um, the first session that we went through, and this is like um, a whole idea about what we have already covered. Go through the lines quickly. We have already covered these parts, and mashallah, you mentioned most of the information here. This is task two. We said that we use a card, and on the card, there is a topic. Then you start talking, while in part three, he's going to go back to part two, but he, di he just dives more and more. Okay. As we said from before, that the speaking test may be conducted on the same day or maybe later. So get ready, guys. What if I ask, what if the examiner asked you about something that you have no experience about? 
You uh, have to you... tell them that I have no experience concerning this point. I think uh, it's okay to in to invent because they are yeah. don't, they don't care about the details. They care about yes. only the language. Yes, but but it's it's recommended that you mention, guys. I don't I have no experience concerning this point, but I see things as such and such and such and such. You're not allowed to ask the examiner questions. Do not ask him questions or her questions. You just answer the questions. And it's so important. It's face to face, as you said. And you can ask the examiner to repeat the questions, but it's but not. Page it. Yeah, uh, it's 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 not recommended that every time you say sorry, what did you say? Sorry, what did you say? Can you change? Can you? It's not recommended to do this. <clears throat> okay, the examiners are very fair because they are not going to take your grades. So if they give you three, they are not going to take the other two or the other seven. No, and they accept all accents. They accept all accent. You don't have. You don't have to have an, a British accent to get the full mark or to get band nine. You don't have to have an American accent, but you need to be clear. They need to understand what you're saying. That's why you should speak clearly and do not forget to watch your time. You have to know, you know, if you have time, if you don't have time and you have to, of course, to just practice and use your stopwatch. So practice is the key to success here. You need a range of vocabulary. You need vocabulary. This is what we have said. And this is why we designed the course this way. Because sometimes if you went to study, to go and study um, uh, IELTS, um, uh, I'm not complaining, I'm not uh, mocking, but some people just start with, uh, writing because it's the most important task or skill so they start doing writing then they go through they may give some speaking some uh, listening but we just flip everything and just assign writing as the last task so that you can build up your vocabulary when you do more speaking tests when you do more reading tests you gain gain many vocabulary words that will enrich your writing Task, inshallah. Uh, it's a good idea, Mr. Abdullah, to record yourself while talking because it gives you an opportunity to go back and watch yourself speaking. Yeah. This is really important. And discover your stand, mistakes. Yes. Stand in front of the mirror, use your mobile phone, or ask someone to, uh, to hold it for you and start speaking. Mm. Imagine, imagine the situation, live it. It's really, it's really great. As you mentioned from before, I guess that more than one person um, mentioned the same thing. And I know that Diana always tells you that you should use idioms, but mm -hmm. native speakers do not use an idiom in each sentence. So we use them wisely. Mm -hmm. uh, you should have your uh, passport and uh, your ID because they is going to ask you about them. Okay, they ask you in the... Um, the front gate, and I guess that the examiner as well will ask you to show them the um, the ID and <clears throat> the the passport. Uh, would you please would you please pay attention to the following points? Um, so sorry, I need to look at the. Okay. These are some of the mistakes that people make while speaking. By the way, I ask it for, for um, IELTS speaking trainers away from Mrs. Diana because Diana is already giving you all her comments. So I ask it another four and I got these um, notes. So some people make mistakes concerning their pronunciation. They sometimes mispronounce the ED endings mm -hmm. or they misplace the stress of the words or they have a um, monotonous tone, like they speak this way. Uh, actually, I watched this movie two days ago and I love this movie so much. This like, you need to change the, your intonation. Okay, so one other point is that there are some grammar problems 
And I guess that this is really important. We have to take care of this. We still make some subject verb agreement mistakes. We need to um, pay attention when to add S, when not to add S, and so on. Uh, the correct use of articles, prepositions. If you're going, if, if you find that articles are very confusing, just use plural nouns. So you don't have to use a or an, either use that or you don't use anything. Prepositions are extremely, it's a headache for everyone. And do not forget to give complete sentences because fragments will just destroy your score. And you have to have a variety of uh, sentences. You're not going to go all simple. They use some sample, some complex compound sentences as well. And you're not going to overcome this problem until you start using that. So I would like you to start from now. When you speak to your children, when you speak to your uh, students in school, in your school, you must remind yourself to use a variety of structures. So sometimes you say, in this minute, I'm just going to use simple sentences. So I say, Iman, stand up, stand up. Iman, do your homework. Iman, don't play in the street. Iman, open your course book. And in the next sentence, in the next minute, sorry, you say, now I'm going to use compound sentences. Iman, will you please stand up and leave my class? You seem to be sick, but you will do the task. So you insist on doing the skill and practice that with your students. And this is a double-aged weapon because it's going to improve your English. You're going to practice and it will improve your students' um, English standard as well. Why I'm asking you to start practicing from today? Because you will never you will never remember in front of the speaker to use them unless it's usual for you to use them. So do not, do not, do not think that when you say, okay, next time, next week I have the speaking exam. Okay, starting from next week, inshallah, I will use compound sentences. You will never use them because they're not used to. Okay. One of, uh, uh, thirdly, we have some vocabulary problems. Some people, I'm not, not you, I'm not mentioning anyone here. They say, oh, I will do some mistakes while talking. Is there anything wrong about my sentence? Make mistakes, not do. Uh, I make mistakes, I don't do mistakes. Collocations. And you know that people do not okay. use the correct verb with the correct noun. So you have to start using this, you have to work on this. And they are really important. And using collocations and changing the structure is extremely important. So I say, I have decided to study math. It's my decision to study math. This is how we change the structure of sentences, which will enrich. And this is how I'm paraphrasing, as Mrs. Dahlia says. Do you remember when Mrs. Dahlia said, guys, you have to paraphrase the questions? How are you going to paraphrase? You're going to change the word order. This is really important. Use of phrasal verbs. You're not, you don't have enough synonyms and antonyms to use. Use vocabulary and try to use some vocabulary that are somehow extinct. And do not forget to use idioms as well. And fourthly and finally, do not forget to be fluent and to use good connectors and use conjunctions to just care for the cohesion and coherence in your uh, speech. So I guess that here, here, another, another piece of information or recommendation is that do not stick to the questions as you can extend and talk about the topic itself. One big problem for um, our dear friends who just stick to the questions, to the question, and they try 
every simple and single thing to cover the question. You can just go and cover the topic itself. And we'll see how we can do this now. Uh, this is one very, very important tip because in task three, in task three, the examiner would like to know about people, not, not you. So do not say, I see, I do, I live, I go, I, I, I. He just would like to know how people behave in this way. Okay? So try not to speak about yourself all the time. Uh, do not misunderstand the, the, the examiner. And every time you say, sorry, I have just mentioned this before. Uh, this is what Mrs. Dahlia said to paraphrase the question. Why do we paraphrase the questions? I need to know your answers. Can I? You can. Uh, maybe to show our talent in using language, to show that we are able to use the uh, vari uh, variety of tenses and also the like using passive con conditioners and these things. If we paraphrase, we are obliged to do this. MashaAllah. So as Mrs. Dalia said, I'm showing that I can use different structures of sentences. Uh, would you like to add uh, any idea, guys? Uh, uh, I'm not going to call the names of people, guys. You have to speak. Dua, Mrs. Sana, Mr. Muhammad, Ms. Sahar, Ms. Rana, Asma. I need to hear your voice. Mrs. Maram, hello, Mrs. Maram, how are you? Ms. Shayma, you stopped talking, Ms. Shayma, you were active. Oh, thinking. someone, someone is thinking to speak, <laughs> I know. Yes, show more ability. Yes, perfect. And do not forget, guys, that um, when they ask you the question, sometimes ideas are not clear in your mind. So you need to just think for a while. That's why you're paraphrasing the question till you have a flow of ideas. This is really okay. important and you have to do to this. Gain, to gain time. Yes, gain time and maybe you're going to pass like 20 seconds till you can think of yeah. how you're going to answer yeah. this question. To organize and my ideas. Yes, it's really important to use these words. So you say, actually, it's my first time to cover this point. I have no experience uh, concerning this point. However, if you ask me, I will say such and such. I guess that you passed like 15 seconds that will give you confidence and you started instead of just saying and sitting doing nothing because this is this it can be it can be you can't sit doing nothing you have to start talking so you using these words are amazing if you run out of ideas give examples this is really a good tip if you run out of ideas give examples and we said that you can um, mashallah mrs aya mashallah thank you so much you can just speak and uh, cover the topic itself, not only the questions. Uh, this is really important, guys, because um, people just try to cover the question and they do not refer to the topic itself because they think that they need to answer the question this way. Okay. Now, this is our first practice. We're going to have a little practice now. So get ready and everyone will be speaking now. That's a simple question that the examiner asked you. Could you please, uh, Mrs. Sana or Mukarim, can you read this question, please? Hello, good evening, everyone. Oh. Yes. Hello, of... Mukarim is the examiner, guys. So yes. read the question. <laughs> what kind of food do you like? To, do you like? That's a simple question that the examiner is going to ask you. Mm -hmm. Now, how can we extend our words and cover the whole time? Let's see what ideas, what techniques can we use? Talking about different kind of food, maybe. Well, there are that's mashallah. You, how did you cheat food. my slide? How did you know that I have this as my first oh, point? Really? Oh, Mukarim, mashallah, <laughs> you're dangerous, Um Mukarim. So, our first recommendation that Um Mukarim said we have to divide the question itself into two or three parts. They told me what I, I have the question here. What kind of food do you like? Did they refer, Shayma, did they refer to only one type of food? No. no. 
No. So I have to say, listen, if you ask me about this question, I'm going to tell you that Italian food is my favorite because when I eat pasta, I feel such and such. Ah, not only this, but also when I eat, what about Thai food? Oh, I like Thai food. And you start talking about Thai food. And don't forget that Indian food is the best because it's a spicy and I'm fond of eating. So you covered like two or three points. Now you extended your speech. Instead of just people maybe panic and maybe afraid and they just say, oh, he told me what kind of food do you like? One food. No, he didn't mention anything. He said, what kind of food do you like? For Hussein, I like all, all, the, all, all the types of food that are on earth. So I need like uh, an hour to cover every, every type and every time. So this is one idea, guys. I would like you to, to type this in your notebook. Uh, write this in your notebook. Typing is killing because every, every, every time now we're typing. So forget about writing. So please write this to extend your speech time. You need to divide the question into two or three parts. So this is one idea. Okay. You can. Uh, okay. Can we move from general to specific, for example? Can I speak about the type of food I like um, in terms of... Um, hmm? Shaima, can you see my slides? This is the next one. Guys, how do you know my ideas? <laughs> you are no Mukarim. This is very strange. Okay, you're cheating. Okay, okay, okay. General okay. to specific. Oh, my very God. Talented. <laughs> no way. Very talented. MashaAllah, very talented. I'm so sorry, Zain, I'm sorry for the interruption, but Mrs. Naima, she's trying to join, but I think she has a connection problem. So I think uh, I wish you haven't locked uh, the participants. I didn't. Okay. No, it's not. It's open. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. So my dear friends here, we're going to move from general topic. We, can, we talk about food in general. And then we go specific. We move to little parts and we cover them. And then we give examples. Your time is done. You're perfect. Mashallah. I know, Mashallah, that we have. Uh, uh, is anyone going to mention number three or shall I go to number three? Now, guys, tell me who's going to, who's going to say what's number three? Predictions. Predictions. Ah, yes. Okay. So um, I'm so sorry, we're gonna stop now. You're going into the rooms and you're covering or you're using the two techniques that we have just mentioned. What was number one, Iman Saber? Who can help uh, Iman Saber? Okay, yes. dividing the topics to parts or to sub ideas. So, yes, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna divide the topic into two or three parts. And the second one is uh, right in front of you, eyes which is you're gonna change from general to specific ideas. Now I'm going to divide you into rooms. You go into the room and you start asking yourselves, each uh, will say that someone will ask a question and everyone will take turns to answer. So this means when you go into the rooms, you have a leader who's going to ask any question and you say any words, no answers will be graded. So start saying whatever you like. I just would like you to use the techniques. Use the first and second techniques that we have just mentioned. Okay, guys? So uh, who's going to say the questions? The leaders. Just one in every group. Leaders. The I'd leaders. Like to be a leader. <laughs> yeah. Who, who said I don't want like to be a leader? I'd like to be a leader. I'd like on Mukarim, of course. Yeah. I think Mukarim. it's easier the than easiest answer, leader of course. Mukarim. We, <laughs> yeah. You don't need to mention this. The okay, easiest so... part is to read questions. <laughs> no, listen, listen to me. The leader will be the last one to speak. They okay. must speak. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, join my rooms and do the task. Where are the rooms? I don't know. What's that? I can't see. MashaAllah. Enable, hide. Okay, I'm going to stop the share. Oh, yes. I'm... Um, uh, I'm so sorry, but I am uh, here, rooms. Get ready, guys, and prepare your questions.
Okay, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Where are more, more, more? I, I changed the technique, so I don't know where to go. Okay. Side reaction. Listen, I, I'm gonna change this now because I'm not the host here, make host. That's it, so easy. So now I have the rooms, breakout rooms. Finally, we have it. We have, we're 19, so we make um, six rooms. Now we're, uh, no, not 19, we're 17. Four rooms, four rooms is, will be enough. Okay, guys, now join my rooms. I sent you an, an invitation. You started recording? Now I have restarted recording. We can go, uh, I can share my screen so that if you would like to speak, it, it uh, is easy for you to just remember what do we have. I think the third one where we stopped, it was uh, the bends. It depends to use the technique of the bends. Uh, here is technique number three. And mashallah, depends. Okay, Mrs. Dalia, go ahead. Um, when we want to use this, this technique, it uh, says that we should involve, we start our talking by saying, okay, it depends, because if, uh, according to the situation, if I am with my friends, for example, I would like to order blah, 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 but if I am with my family, I would, I would rather have blah, 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 like this. So which type of food do you like, with your friends or with your family members? Uh, yeah, with my family members. MashaAllah. You're a family type. You're a family person. Okay, who's going to do number four? Iman Sabr. Take the lead. Okay, so this is uh, the, th uh, the fourth technique is about concession. It's a strategy when uh, we like mention a main argument or a main point, then coming up with uh, something against or something like a counter argument to uh, the, the, the first point. So after I mention my point of view and I support it, I say, but on the other hand, I have such yes. and such and such and such. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Now, number five, we go for uh, Shayma, Mrs. Shayma Mzbah. Are you here? Yes, yes, I'm here. Go. Uh, the, the next technique you mean? Uh, number five, Sorry, yes. I was busy. Yes, number five. To go from general to specific? Oh, mashallah, this was like two days ago. Mashallah. Really? I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> We're in number five now. Look at, look at the screen. Help her. Uh, okay, avoidance. avoidance. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. Yeah, to avoid, yeah, to avoid the question by answering in an indirect way, like leaping around the question. Yes. So you can mention the example here when you say, well, to be honest, I don't really have a favorite food. But I guess that if I had to choose one, so I said I don't have a favorite food, but if I, if I had to choose one, I will do such and such, I will choose such and such. So these are the three um, techniques that we use in the second part after we used the first two. So now in the chat type uh, one idea that you learned today. Type one idea that you learned today. Let's see who's going to do it first. It depends, Mrs. Aya. Yes, great. Oh, mashallah, Mr. Sahar remembers the five strategies. Uh, avoidance. Yes, avoidance, when you avoid saying things, yes. To extend your speaking time by splitting the ideas. Great, 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 great. Well, uh, to con concession is a good is a good idea, and counter arguments, yes, yes, concession, mashallah. Uh, uh, moving from general to specific, yes, and all the techniques are uh, nice. Thank you, Mr. Abdullah. It's my owner. It's an owner. Avoidance, yeah, dividing, dividing is a good idea as well. Yes, 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 concession. Paraphrasing question, yes, dua, yes, excellent. Okay, great, great. Now we're waiting for Miss Diana to join us. I don't know if uh, you would like to go like for uh, a five-minute break. 
till I check with her. Now I'm going to um, pause the recording and you have to remind me. If you didn't remind me, we can't, we can't compensate this this time. <laughs> 